everyone. Welcome back to Learn with Morale. Ever pondered why planets orbit the sun, or why a dropped ball always falls down? It's all about the laws of physics. Today, we're embarking on a journey to explore these fundamental rules that govern our universe. First up, we have Newton's three laws of motion. The first is the law of inertia, which says that an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Think of it like this, when you're on a swing, it won't move until you push it. And once it's moving, it won't stop until something slows it down. The second law is all about acceleration. It tells us that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force acting on it and inversely proportional to its mass. Like when you push a heavy box, the harder you push, the faster it moves. Lastly, we have the law of action-reaction, which basically means that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. If you've ever jumped off a small boat, you've experienced this firsthand. As you jump forward, the boat moves backward. These laws explain why objects move the way they do. Next, let's talk about gravity. Imagine a force so powerful that it can pull everything towards it, from a small apple to a gigantic planet. This is what Sir Isaac Newton's law of universal gravitation is all about. It tells us that every object in the universe attracts every other object. The strength of this attraction depends on the mass of the objects and the distance between them. It's like a cosmic dance where everything is drawn towards everything else. This law explains why planets move around the sun. Now, let's move on to electricity and magnetism. Picture this. Every object around you is made up of tiny particles called atoms. And these atoms contain charged particles. When these charges are stationary, we call it electricity. But when they move, they create magnetic fields. And just like magnets, opposite charges attract and like charges repel each other. These basic principles of electricity and magnetism are behind some of the most common phenomena. These laws explain why magnets stick to your fridge and why your hair stands up when you rub a balloon on it. Let's shed some light on the next topic. Imagine light as a lively party guest, always on the move, traveling in waves. Now, when light hits a shiny surface, like a mirror, it bounces back. This is known as reflection. But what happens when light passes from air into water? It changes direction, a phenomenon we call refraction. These laws explain why you see your reflection in a mirror and why a straw looks bent in a glass of water. Now, let's talk about some fundamental laws of the universe. First up, we have the law of conservation of energy, which tells us that energy can't be created or destroyed, only transformed. Pretty cool, right? But that's not all. We also have laws like the conservation of momentum, which says that the total momentum of a system remains constant if no external forces are acting on it, and the conservation of angular momentum. These laws explain why energy is always conserved and why spinning objects keep spinning. Finally, let's touch on some advanced topics. Imagine a world where gravity isn't just a force, but a curvature of space and time. That's the theory of relativity for you. Then there's the mind-bending realm of quantum mechanics, exploring the peculiar behavior of particles at the smallest scales. It's like stepping into a wonderland where cats can be both alive and dead, and particles can be in two places at once. These theories explain how gravity works and how particles behave at the smallest scales. So, what's the big deal about physics, you may ask? Well, the laws of physics are like the DNA of the universe, providing a blueprint that explains everything from the fall of an apple to the orbit of planets. Explore these laws further and see how they impact our everyday life. And that's a wrap on our journey through the laws of physics. Thanks for joining me, and don't forget to subscribe for more science adventures. Stay curious, keep asking questions, and remember, the universe is yours to discover.